Chris, come on. What's up? Mom's put a family meeting downstairs. Okay, let's sit down. Guys, I wonder what it's about. Yeah, I wonder. It might be know. about the virus. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Hey, Mums. Hey. hey. Guys. Hello. Hello. What's the meeting about? It's about school. So we headed back to school. No, guys, we've just got an email from the school, and they have said that if you are self-isolating, they're not giving us any learning material. But luckily, we already got some. <laughs> Oh, so, unlike the toilet paper situation. I know we have no toilet paper, but we have alternatives so we don't have any toilet paper. All right guys, so we've had the kids home for a few days now. We've been doing kind of little bits and pieces of homeschooling here and there, mostly just focusing kind of on English and math, yeah guys? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So like now- doing our usual homework. And digital homework. technologies and stuff. Yeah, we've been- and digital technology. <laughs> iPads and gaming. Okay, but guys, seriously though, we need to um, get back to the actual real curriculum now of, of school because our schools in Australia are actually still open. So we've chosen to self-isolate on our own and there's a few other families like us as well. Um, so we need to set up an actual classroom for you guys. We don't know how long we're gonna have to isolate for. I know in America they're shut, the UK have just shut. Um, so kind of Australia generally follows suit. So we are a little bit behind the rest of the world. Australia tends to do things quite late compared to everybody else. So we decided to self-isolate so we don't have any problems with this little missy here because she's can got a low immune again? system. What we need to do is set up a classroom that we can have for the whole time that we're going to be home. So we're not sure how long that's going to be, guys. It could be the rest of the year, guys. Well, they're predicting in the US that they're not going to open the schools until possibly next year. Over 70 countries have closed their schools. Really? Yep, over 70 countries, Whoa. but we haven't yet. So we need to have a classroom for the kids to learn in, which means it's going to be your playroom. All right, guys, in all seriousness, we want you guys to come with us and help us set up a classroom for the kids. So we are going to be using their old lounge room, which is um, where they watch movies and things like that and just kind of do little art it's projects. It's going to be really fun. And guys, have you set up a space where you do your work at home on a desk okay. or in your bedroom? Yeah, if any of you guys are homeschooled, let us know on the community page what kind of things we can include in the classroom that are really helpful for Or if you have like a special so space to do your homework and stuff. So yeah. the desk upstairs that we have is going to be half half, half me, half Charlotte. Uh, why don't we head up no, and go have a look? Your... Heading upstairs to do this decoration stuff, and I've got some really good ideas. So yeah, I'm gonna make like I'm gonna make. Don't call up the stairs, friends. I'm not. I saw you. Through. So I'm gonna make a little area and I'm gonna make a copy. You can't have a sofa in a classroom. How about Realistic. leave it in here? Right. And then we can just put it up to the side. Well, the headmaster needs somewhere to sit and supervise. So how <laughs> yes, about you? Who made you headmaster? You made yourself headmaster. Yeah, so how about we pop the lamps onto the window? Right. And then I can here. do this is gonna be the smart board. So then I can still operate the smart board from the lounge. Bye fam. I know, We've got these frames up on the wall. These are all old photos. I like that one is like Charlotte doing ballet, which I don't. Well, I think she's five. slightly regressive. Guys, this is Cha Cha when she was Why five. She we got Charlie's do... artwork there as well. She did a little artwork, guys. A little be polite. Was... Guys, if you have any favorite photos of ours on Instagram, can you guys let us know? Because we need some ideas for this wall, for the photo wall. So we might use some. We might use some. <laughs> Except she put it over my eye. <laughs> well, you meant to put in effect like da na na na. It's the one and only Dio Jungle G Snoop Dogg. The first thing we clearly need to set is a behavior management plan. No. How are you going to control to these two? Why didn't you sit on the chair? Why didn't you send them to school for their what? behavior management? I know. Well, look, now we've got a dog as well. I know. Well, when the dog's not even put him in the cage. Behavior <gasps> management. Cage. Is that a good no. behavior management strategy? This order can be uh, my cage. extra large and an extra extra Wait. large. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get to work. Let's get this looking like a classroom so we can start up. Okay, class. so we do have our desk back there, guys, already for you guys. So this is like a little art table, yeah? Yes. So I think we'll use that as the well, school desk. What do you think? I'm thinking, I don't really want to sit and face the desk. Also, I don't want to like... Face the desk? The do you mean face the wall? I mean, face the wall. Okay. And otherwise, like, when we're trying to look at you for doing... For when you're doing something, we have to turn our head all the way around. To the smart board over here. Yeah. I'm slightly And there's bored. the smart boy. <laughs> I'm slightly bored here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a portable stool. stool. All right, so Charlie, you don't like that it's positioned here towards the wall, and the smart board's going to be over there. So we need to change that around. So what do you suggest? Um. Well, we could probably just put it forward a little bit. Empire fam, what do you guys think? Do you think we should like pull it forward and then just go behind? Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. And then just like swap this over so that our stuff is there. Oh, guys, I've got this really good idea for my stationery. Come on. Okay, so I've got this really cool idea. I've got this thing called a caboodle. 
this is my caboodle and it's like a makeup bag sort of thing so it's, it's a makeup box and it's a really good organizer for like makeup and hair stuff but i was thinking that i could empty it out just for like the homeschooling days mm -hmm. yeah and then what's in there at the moment so at the moment it's just got all my stuff like here i've got some nail polishes oh yeah it's organized and then i've got some like little glittery things that i used last year for halloween oh that's cool and then i've got like my hair chore that's really then... cool okay guys i think that's a pretty cool idea charlie's got so let's see what beck and press have been up to that yeah. looks pretty good like, it is still lining it up. We're trying to get it perfect because we have perfection. Oh, that's good. So you've turned the drawers around as well. So it's yeah. and yeah, so around that's the other cool. Side is the trays. Yeah, that's really cool. And then face like out this way. That's perfect. Yep, this is Presley's side. That's a really cool view. Rem, Rem, are you going to be the class pet? <gasps> are you going to be our class pet? class pet? Yeah. No more crazy cubs. We got crazy dogs. <laughs> Charlie, did you have a guinea pig in your class one year? Oh yeah, in group primary, we had two guinea pigs. Why what? did Why did you need two? I don't know. Do you remember what the guinea pigs' names were? Yeah, I think it was like Charm and Lucky or something. Oh really? I don't know. That's pretty funny. <laughs> something like that. And you brought it home for a night, yeah? Yes. Easy walk. Oh, are you guys okay? Yeah, we're doing project desk rearranging. This is oh, going to be the computer area, so when the kids have to do computer research, they can... Romy, don't get in the way. Or I thought we were going to have it on our desk. No. You can have your so iPads. You can have supervised Roblox. You can earn points to have free time to play Roblox. Oh, that's a good behaviour management strategy. They can keep visual mum bucks. Show us how it works, Prez. The kids love this couch, guys. Look at that. Remy loves it too. He does. He often lays where the feet are. All right, how are you going, Chi Chi? Really good. And I'm going to set the computers up here. Yeah. So this is where you can have free time and play... Roblox, is that what it's called? Roblox, you yeah. You did it! Woo! Yay, mommy! She said it right! That's like the first time she ever. She used to say Roblox. I'm like... She still does say Roblox from time to time. She, says, she said What's it right. called again? Everybody smash the like, because mum said Robo Roblox. No, Roblox. I can't Instead say Instead of Roblox. Roblox or Roblox? Roblox. 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 Alright, what else have you got, Chacha? I've got some pencils and stuff. Oh, you got the and machine I've set. Got, like, a highlighter. That's cute. That yeah. And then the rest of the stuff is probably in the drawers that I need. I'll just pick it up. That sounds good. Your towel is not high up though. It was, I swear. Mm, I don't know. I see it I on the swear. bed all crumpled Who up. Who unhung my towel from my door? It wasn't me. But the door... Presley! What did I do? What did I do? Someone unhung the towel. And she's not happy. There you go. It's hung up now. All right, guys, so we've had a little bit of progress. So we've got the desk moved forward off the wall so the kids can face forwards. I've lost my iPad. The couch, really? Yeah, I'm a little bummed about that. that. I've, look, it's out of charge. I've got find my iPhone on, right? So it's Ooh. dead flat. I can't call it. I can't do a sound. Lost mode. Like, it's not going to work. All right, guys, Remy's looking pretty comfortable in the new classroom. Are you comfortable there, Rem? Do you like your little spot? All right, Charlie, how's your caboodle going? Good? Good. You've got your stationery stacking up in there? Yes, oh, these are like cool. little pencil toppers that I got from Smiggle. And like a highlight, a whiteboard marker, all my pencils and... Oh my gosh, guys, how cute is that though? I know, right? There's a little yes. cheerleading one there too in the smoothie and... Don't you guys find these hard to like write with when you've got something really heavy hanging off the end of your pencil? Not that heavy. The mm. Harry Potter Ushies are actually much heavier. No. Oh, Cha-Cha, you got your phone on your desk? Yeah. You found your new case? Uh, yeah. I think she misplaced that for a couple of days, guys. Look at this case, it's cute. In case you didn't notice, Charlie loves pushing. Do the Empire Fam know about your gaming channel? Oh, do you guys know about my gaming channel? It's <laughs> called, I made this name up all by myself. So it's called Presley, right? We do a bunch of games, mostly Roblox adopt me, quite fun. Uh, please go check it out, link in the description below. Uh, name just here, my Twitter's here, Instagram there. I think that's all the places. How many subs are you up to on that channel? Uh, I think I've got 1,310. In. That's pretty cool. Well Project. done. Yeah, I've been working on it for like a month. Guys, go check out Presley's channel and help him grow it, guys. He's got 1,300 subs, so if you haven't already, guys, go check it out and sub to his channel. He makes some pretty cool content. Yeah. I actually really like the thumbnails that you make. They're pretty cute. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, Beck's coming with some actual learning content. Let's have a look, guys. Oh. Astrology and... What is this? So by the end of the coronavirus outbreak, <laughs> Presley and Charlotte will have memorized this star chart. Okay. And also this map of Australia. 
Oh, Charlie, how do you go already with the map of Australia? Do you know where everything Pretty is? Pretty good. Um, All right, where do we live, Charlie? Tell the Empire fam. WA, Western Australia. Western Australia. Whereabouts? Right there. Just, we know you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find the... They're down Perth that street. Then. Somewhere. Oh, yeah, Perth. All right, guys, this is where we live. So that's the whole map of Australia. WA. Where are we? Where that tiny little dot. And where do your cousins live? Queensland. Queensland, yep. Do you know whereabouts in Queensland? Brisbane. Oh, there. The stars predicted Corona. Oh, there is something in there. What is that? It says Corona Australis. Australis. <gasps> it's coming to Corona Australia. Australia. Yeah, and look, this is the coronavirus, the blue bit, and it's like spreading all over the world. And then it goes, woo! And we've got the bootays here. The bootays. The bootays. <laughs> the bootays. I, don't, I don't know who's going to be teaching who, but I'm pretty sure there's nothing called the bootays. <laughs> <laughs> it says it right there, the bootays. Oh no, that's boots. <laughs> <laughs> It's Bootes. I figured it out. It's Bootes. 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 It's Bootes. 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 That's how it's spelled. B-O-O-T-E-S. Show me where. Boo. Where? Bootes. 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 Okay, guys. So class is about to um, start. I need you to settle down. Class sounds like it's going to be hectic. I know. So yeah, we're miss. going to... Can we call you Miss? Miss Mum? No. Can we just call you Miss anyway? Miss? Princess? Princess. Consuela. Boss lady. Boss lady. No! no. I want to call you miss. Okay, call me miss. Okay. Why are you on Minecraft? I'm not. Are not. you on Minecraft? Presley. Presley's got someone he who's is just going to dog him in all day long. I know, I was going to say, I don't know about them sitting together at the same desk, guys, but then Charlie will kind of keep Presley on track. Presley gets very easily distracted. Okay, guys, so seriously, though, Beck and I need to plan some lessons for the kids. What have you got there? Well, I've got these... Um, spelling words that Charlotte's teacher gave us and actually these were spe these were Presley's spelling words last year. I didn't get a choice in that. So I'm going to start with the spelling test and see if I can do Presley and Charlotte on the same spelling. Oh, right now? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, Presley, you ready for your spelling test? Yeah, I'll type them. Pencil. You can't type them. You've got spell check. No, you got predictive text. Name. He's got predictive text and spell check. Okay, everyone take out a piece of paper and a pen, please. Right, the first word is decagon. Easy. And the second okay, word easy. is 12. <laughs> On the 12th day of Christmas. And right. the third word is percentage. All right, so this spelling test is only out of three. Are you okay. ready to be marked? Quick, Charlie. All right, so I've just done the top three there, guys. Okay, Let's cool. Let's see who gets it right. All right, so swap, swap your books over. Yes. Charlie, swap over with Prez. Okay, Decagon, D-E-C-A-G-O-N. Wait, I need my red pen. School does not wait for slow Ooh. children. No, it does actually. Hurry up, Charlie. Okay. D-E-C-A-G-O-N. Did, well, you, did she get it right, Pris? No. Oh, yes, I did. Right. You're going to have to see her after. No, let me have a look. Pris, <laughs> that's right. She got it right, Pris. Presley. All right, next one, go. Twelve. T W E L F T H. Oh, I see another T. Percentage. P E R C E N T A G E. That's a P. That's a P. Oh, right. What do you oh say? H or that is a P. Oh. Oh, she goes. Charlie, we will okay. we will override his marking. It's correct. Okay. Firstly, you're so hard. Is it a H or an N? Oh, she's not going to like that. It's not neat. Presley's naughty, he just scribbled on her book. Now we have right. an insight Presley, to Presley in high school. Like Come up to the front of the class, please. Okay. Leave your iPad there. Okay, I'll put it back in. This is how he acts every day at school. Once I went into his classroom to get something from um, Miss Roberts and he was in the naughty corner. Was he? Yes. No, are you serious? Charlie, are you being serious? Yeah. We never got told he got uh, put so in the naughty right. corner. Are you, okay. Really? I'm kidding. Oh <laughs> gosh, lucky. Look at Brad, he's being in trouble. Give me your iPad. No iPad. I'm sorry. <laughs> iPad. I'll put it beside. I'll put a timer on. No, I will put a timer on because I'm the teacher. Can okay, you put it on. What? Face the world. Do you want to put the timer on? Here you go. Do you want the right. timer on? 25 minutes. Okay. Face the world, Brad. Mum's giving you an instruction. Put your hands in your lap. Right. Now do six <laughs> times tables in your head. Brad, that was the last time you had to sit in the corner. <laughs> Never. Like. Pre-primary. <laughs> All right, guys. So we had a lot of fun setting up the school with the kids, guys. So we're actually seriously going to be using this space. I think we have one really naughty student. Hey, look, he's already out of the corner. He's like a monkey. 
I think I'm gonna take the naughty child downstairs to the kitchen for a cooking class. Okay. And you can do some work with the, the good studious child. I'll take the good student any day. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. We will go to the kitchen. Okay. <laughs> See you in the next vlog. Peace! No, 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 it's my head. We want peace in this world, Mum.